Hi, today I'm going to take you through the design process of a really small school that we're doing in a village in Rajasthan. This site is only 65 by 65 meters and the north points upwards and the access road is on the southern side. Now, due to it pointing the way it is and there is a small area here which is slightly higher by about 2.5 meters. So, because the site is so small and you wanted to generate enough open space for the school, we are building really close to the boundary. So, the classrooms will come in an organic way like this following the profile of the site. And this is the entry point where there will be a large open area where you enter beyond which is the administration here and finally leading into a, the main congregation hall which will be a multi-purpose function. The passage areas are all on the perimeter. So this allows this entire site which is about 40 to 45 percent open at the ground level and then you step up towards this higher point and from this higher point then the students can climb up onto the roof of these classrooms and traverse the entire roof so that eventually what happens is you have a site in which almost 100% is open when you look at it in an aerial view. So you are entering below here and then this is all garden at the ground level it gradually steps up where the contours go up and from that higher level contour here there is a canteen area and then you go up onto the roof and this portion which is on the south and the west side is two floors high whereas the rest of the block is only one floor high so you again have steps and you come up to the upper terrace level from where you can connect back into the open space at the lower level so this is the floor plan in the floor plan this is the entry point the administration area the main congregation hall and the classrooms done in a very nice organic manner which allows it to have a free circulation flow opening up in the middle at each point looking out at the central focal garden space which is 40% of the site and then while one is walking on this corridor there are also open spaces along that corridor so that makes it interesting and the building massing then is very very organic just in gradual steps in stone with all the ventilation coming through vertical stone members which will be used like this so this is the final perspective sketch this is the entrance approach road and the building is seen as a series of cuboid masses in stone and in stone uh, verticals and then when you look at it from the center when you come inside that's the kind of view you get which is really organic so it is like a village school designed as a village within that village so you have a very interesting play of volumes and you have all these steps which act as platforms for children to play on or just hang around and talk and from here you climb up onto the terrace and you climb further onto the terrace and then you go around and that's the second floor terrace from which again you can come back down into the plaza space at the ground level so to summarize it's a small school in a plot of only one acre and the idea here has been to maximize the amount of open space within the small site so that you have 2000 square meters of open space in the center and then the terraces are also part of the open space so it amounts to almost 100% of the site being used as an open space for the children.